Good day guys, welcome to another edition of Einstein Ages tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to make your window more detailed. And this is what we are going to be achieving by the end of this tutorial. Please, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I would like you to pause this tutorial. Subscribe, like and share tutorials with your loved ones and friends. Thank you. So guys, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using this mouse to show you guys how to make your window more detailed. So to begin, let's go back to level 1. Go to architecture, menu bar, click on wall, click on this and let's select our cutting wall. So go to edit type, always remember to duplicate your Revit component to avoid tampering with it. And when you are done, click on OK, click on this and click on OK. So uh, mm, for this tutorial, I'll be using 1200 millimeter by 2000 millimeter as my dimension for my window. Try to check our standard dimensions for window. So let's change the base offset from 0 to 1200 and unconnected height to 2000. And when you are done, click on apply. So let's do our cutting panel. Click on this and this way. So type in 1200 on keyboard and press enter. So let's go to our 3D view. So this is our cutting panel. So let's the next thing to do is to apply grid to it. So let's click on font to see it better. So let's go back to architecture menu bar. Go to cutting grid. So let's apply our grid. So make sure it's at the center. So let's apply another one here close to it and another one here close to it. So let's divide this into three parts this way so let's delete the middle part delete so let's go back to architecture menu bar and let's apply mullion to our grid so make sure you click on all grid lines and let's apply it this way so let's adjust our window this way this way and this way and this way so this is our window the next thing to do is to make our window more detailed so go to architecture menu bar click on components click on model in place click on casework ok and let's change this to window when you are done click on ok we'll be using the extrusion so click on it so before we start modeling so let's create a material for our extrusion so click on that on click on create new material let's rename this as window so after doing that click on apply and click on ok so before you start modeling anything always remember to set your plane so click on set pick a plane ok so let's set our plane this way so let's click on front view to see it better you see let's start click on pick lines select this so click on 9 the thickness is going to be 60 millimeter so type in 60 millimeter on your keyboard and press enter you see the height is going to be i'm going to increase the height by 2000 by 60 millimeter so making 2060 millimeter so type in this way so after after doing it so let's mirror this to the other part so click on mirror on mirror door axis so make sure you are at the center click on it and let's do it this way so let's join our lines together this way so before we before we click on finish let's change our institution from 250 to 100 and click on apply click on finish so let's create the second extrusion so let's set the plane again pick a plane ok and this way so let's pick line pick on this and let's create another one so 60 millimeter going up 
making 2120 millimeter click on enter and click on escape twice so i like this part let's mirror it again this way so let's join them together So before we click on finish again, let's change the extrusion from 100 to 160. Click on apply and click on finish. So let's create the next one. Pick lines this way. So click on line 60 millimeter. Enter and let's increase the height by 60, making 2000. 2180 millimeter click on enter so after doing that let's mirror this part to the let's mirror this to the other part so click on mirror door axis locate the middle click on it and draw your axis so let's join them together this way and this way so when you are done Let's change the extrusion from 160 to 220 millimeter. Click on apply and click on finish. So let's create the next one again, which is this pick line. Let's pick a line. Let's do this thickness is going to be 60 millimeter. So let's go up. Let's increase the height by 60 millimeter making 240 2240 and click on finish click on enter so let's mirror this again to the other part this way make sure you are at the center click on this way so let's join the lines together this way so after joining the lines let's change the extrusion from 220 to 300 millimeter and click on apply and click on finish so let's create the horizontal casework so go to create go to extrusion click on this this way make sure your thickness is 60 millimeter click on finish let me adjust this this way so when I don't go to extrusion change this from 300 to 320 click on apply and click on finish so let's create another one so let's set up plane again pick a plane this way and this way so let's do the next one Make sure the thickness is 60 millimeter. This way. So let's change the extrusion from 320 to back to 300. 300 millimeter. Click on apply. And click on finish. So lastly, let's, let's create the last extrusion. So which is this. To be a bigger rectangle this way let's make it 140 millimeter click on finish and let's change the extrusion from 300 to 240 millimeter and click on apply and click on finish and when you are done you have your extrusion this is your extrusion so let me show you guys when you are to click on finish model so for a better view let's change it back to realistic so let's change let's apply material to our to our casework to our window so go to manage go to materials click on the material click on the material you created for your window which is our window here so click on appearance click on replace so let's type in white let's go to wall paint and let's pick white so we are done click on apply and click on ok so guys these are to make 
or give your window more details in Revit. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share our channel and our videos with your loved ones and friends. Thanks. See you next time.